So to make tabs and tab contents, here I've just got a left tab, a middle tab, and a right tab, each of these being separate objects, and then a contents for the contents of each tab. So each tab's object is an idle, then a hover, then a pressed. This is the same for each tab, and I haven't got any behaviors on any of these. So first, what I want to do is go over to the events and make a new event. This condition is going to be common conditions for all objects, mouse and touch, and then cursor touches on an object, and I'm just going to do this for each of them. And we're just going to change the animation for each of these the same as if we would do for a button. And just to make it easier, I'm going to make each of these in a group. So here what you can see is that each tab changes its animation when the mouse hovers over them. So now we're going to do it when they're pressed, this tab contents is going to change. So first of all, I'm going to make a sub event of this left tab here, and I'm going to do mouse and touch, mouse button released, and left. And here I'm just going to change the animation of the tab contents, and I'm going to set it to zero. So I'm just going to do this for each of the tab clicks, but I'm going to change the value here to what I want the tab contents to be. Okay, so now if I click on this, it's going to change to that because it's already there. If I click on this, it's going to change to this. And if I click on this, it's going to change to the third one. So we have this system set up, but what if we wanted to make it more complex, like putting in more things in the tabs and also changing the animation of the tabs themselves to show when it's been clicked? Well, for this, I'm going to use variables. Since if we use a variable, then if we continually click on the same tab, it won't keep doing those same actions over and over again. It will just do it once because then that tab variable is set to one. So I'm just going to add another group here and I want to call it tab variables, for example. And for this example, I'm going to use scene variables, although you can use whatever variables you want to use, like global variables or something. But I'm just going to use scene variables and I'm just going to make a new one. And this is going to be called selected tab. And I'm going to index it from zero. But if you want, you can do it from one. So what this is going to do is if that variable is set to zero, then this tab is going to be pressed. If it's set to one, then this tab is going to be pressed. And if it's set to two, then this tab is going to be pressed. So I'm going to make a new event and I'm just going to drag this into here. I'm going to make a new event. I'm going to drag this into here. I'm going to make a third event and I'm going to drag this into here. And the condition for this top one is going to be variables, value of a scene variable, select a tab. If selected tab is equal to zero, then it's going to do this. And then I can just put it on one for this one and two for this one. So now in this action, when it's released, I'm going to change the scene variable selected tab and I'm going to set it to zero. On here, I'm going to set it to one and here I'm going to set it to two. I'm also going to put these inside of the group. So now you can see it does the same as what it did before. But now if we try and change the animation of this to two, so if I copy this and put it down here and set it to two and also do the same for these other two ones like this, then you'll see that since that scene variable started off being zero, this is pressed. If I click on this, that's then pressed. If I click on this, then that's then pressed. And you can see that these other two change from being pressed to being idle because that variable is not equal to what it needs to equal to for them to change to that third animation or second animation. So now you have a really cool tab system where you can put in new objects inside the contents in these actions here and do really cool tweens. For example, this kind of thing. So I hope this helped you and have fun.